Hello. Today I'll be talking about our work, Every Walk's a Hit, Making Page Walks Single Access Cache Hits. My name is Chang Hyun, uh, and I'm from Uppsala University. And this work was done with Ilias and Andreas from Arm Research and David uh, from Uppsala University. Today's virtual memory translations are not scaling. Uh, it is well known that the TLB reach is not scaling with the size of the DRAM. Uh, for example, with four kilobytes or two megabyte pages, uh, the TLB reach or the TLB coverage is merely eight megabytes or four gigabytes, which is nowhere near the size of uh, data we process today. So on TLB misses, uh, address translation is uh, done through walking the page table, and that requires four serial memory accesses. To speed this up, page walk caches were introduced to help skip over different parts of the page table. However, uh, the coverage of uh, the page walker cache and the number of memory accesses it can skip uh, is limited in coverage. And uh, through experimentation, we found that on average 1.5 memory accesses or between 1.1 and 2.5 memory accesses were required per TLB miss. And this was for workloads with memory sizes of eight gigabytes. So with larger uh, workloads uh, in the hundreds of gigabytes or uh, five level page tables, uh, we, we don't think the page walker cache will uh, be able to scale. So there were past proposals that tackled a similar problem. And uh, the first one we're talk going to talk about is address translation with prefetching or ASAP. This work uh, proposes prefetching the leaf nodes of the page table while um, the page table walker is going uh, accessing the root nodes. And this helps uh, reduce the latency of accessing the leaf nodes. Uh, this requires prefetching and um, generating these prefetching addresses require base plus offset type uh, calculations. And this requires uh, contiguous regions for L2 and the L1 page tables. The second work is Elastic Google Page Tables, or ECPT, uh, which proposes multi-way hash page tables, uh, which makes use of the uh, memory level parallelism that is available in today's hardware. Uh, basically, given a virtual address, uh, a hash function creates three different hashes, and the hashes are used uh, as base plus offset calculations uh, to generate these memory accesses in parallel. And three memory accesses or more are uh, issued into the system uh, in parallel. Now, one problem that is common in both work is that they require large contiguous physical memory. And it is a challenge to get these uh, large contiguous physical memory. Uh, first off, we need to remember that page table allocation is a critical task, which means it cannot fail and it cannot take too long. So uh, if it does, it might incur uh, tail latency or system non-responsiveness uh, and more. And it is difficult to get large uh, physical contiguous memory allocations. And especially uh, when this allocation is not guaranteed, uh, this is gonna be even more problematic for uh, such a critical task. And the implication is either guarantee this through reservation or something else, or suffer latency spikes or page table allocation failures. And our question was, can we have a scalable page walk that does not need contiguity guarantees? And so our solution was making page table walks single access cache hits. To achieve single access, we're going to flatten the page table and to achieve cache hits, we're going to prioritize the page table to stay in the cache. So let's first look at flattening the page table. And before we do that, let's look at the conventional four level page table. So, Conventional page tables uh, take a virtual address and convert it to physical address. And it uses a virtual page number and splits it up into different parts to be used as indices into the page, different levels of the page table. And so the indices are used as offsets uh, for the base page table nodes. And uh, basically we walk through the page table from the root to the leaf uh, and do pointer chasing for um, the entire length until we get to the leaf. And um, as you can see, uh, the height of the page table tree uh, results or is the same as the number of memory access that is required, in this case, four. 
So we would like to actually flatten the page table uh, and make the nodes fatter and uh, in result make a shorter tree so that we can do less memory accesses per page table walks. So to flatten the page table, uh, what we can do is we can uh, gather the scattered uh, L1 pages of an L2 and put them in order of the L2 page table entries into the flattened page table node. So for example, on the top of the L2 PTE, uh, we're going to pack them up into the flattened L2 plus L1. And it turns out a two megabyte uh, flattened L2 plus L1 page table node can actually hold all L1s that belong to an L2 page table. And so with that, we can actually directly connect uh, from the L3 PTE to the flattened page table, uh, flattened L2 plus L1 page table. And we can actually leverage the existing operating support for two megabyte large pages. So now that we can actually flatten page tables, we're going to flatten the leaf nodes and we're going to flatten the root nodes. And this lets us skip two of the memory accesses that we required. And in practice, page walk caches can actually let us skip the first memory access for the root node, uh, resulting in one memory access in practice. Now, there are various combinations of flattening. Uh, we just saw one combination. Uh, there is also the option of just flattening the two middle levels. Uh, and if there are five level page tables, we can actually have uh, flatten the first two and then the next two levels. Or if we're brave enough, we can actually uh, allocate a one gigabyte page table and flatten three, node, uh, three levels, whether at the root or at the middle or at the leaf. And so there are many, many combinations and basically it comes down to uh, which flattening uh, combination is the best at a given moment. In this work, we will be focusing on uh, the first option of flattening the root and the leaf levels. Now let's talk, take a while to think about what happens when a large page allocation or two megabyte page allocation uh, fails, whether that fails while we're allocating the root level of the page table or the leaf levels of the page table. Basically, when we fail to allocate a two megabyte page, we can uh, fall back to allocating normal four kilobyte page table nodes. And uh, instead of having one level, uh, we will need two levels instead. Now, uh, we need to make sure that uh, any pointer that points to a page table uh, specifies whether it's pointing to a four kilobyte page table or a two megabyte page table. And that enables us to actually have a page table where a part of the leaf is not flattened as we see on the top here. Uh, we have L2, four kilobyte L2 and L1s, and part of it is actually flattened. And this is totally fine with our design. Let's talk a bit about the hardware and software changes that are required. On the hardware side, uh, we need to have the page table walker be aware of the next uh, page table level and whether that next level page table is going to be a four kilobyte or a two megabyte uh, page table node. Based on that, uh, the index needs to change uh, if it's a two megabyte page table node uh, from nine bit to 18 bit. The pointers that point to page table nodes also need to specify whether they're pointing to a two megabyte node or four kilobyte node. And this information will be used by the page table walker uh, to choose the correct index bit. On the software side, side we need to allocate two megabyte uh, allocations for uh, the page tables. And again, we need to mark the pointers with appropriate size. Um, there were some other changes and in total 700 lines of codes were changed uh, to uh, for our prototype um, that ran on Linux. Now, uh, let's talk a bit about flattening and um, pointing to two megabyte data pages or large pages. In conventional page tables, a level two page table entry points directly to a two megabyte data page. However, with excuse me, with flattened uh, root and flattened leaf page tables, there is no more, or there is no notion of a uh, level two page table entries. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to uh, point to every four kilobyte subpage of 
the two megabytes uh, in the flattened level two and level one page table. And this replication uh, gives us the functionality. Uh, it, it lets us use uh, two megabyte data uh, with flattened level two plus level one. But based on um, our evaluation, we found that uh, because of the replication, uh, this put more stress or more pressure on the cache. And also uh, there was no reuse or little reuse um, because of that. There was little reuse for the uh, cache lines that pointed to the same two megabyte region uh, if they were being accessed from different parts of the two megabyte region. Uh, this is a problem that does not exist with the uh, conventional page table. And so to fix this problem, uh, what we decided to do was we decided to uh, configure regions uh, that were not to be flattened by the operating system. And uh, the two megabyte data pages can actually be mapped from this unflattened regions region, which uh, shown at the bottom of the figure uh, is mapped through the normal four kilobyte level two page table. Now, uh, let us summarize flattening. Uh, flattening takes, or flattening, flattens the conventional four level page table into a uh, less number of page uh, levels. And by doing so, it, it can reduce the number of memory accesses required to walk the page table. And, uh, and the practice, uh, the flattening we have on the bottom left incurs one memory access thanks to the page walker cache. However, we did find that the memory access is uh, still required a visit to the DRAM and that caused high latency. So can we do anything about the DRAM access? And so comes our second part, where we prioritize keeping page table entries in the cache. We found that workloads with high TLE miss, which we were looking at, also had very high data cache miss ratio. That means data caching is not very effective. And um, we decided to cache page tables instead. The insight was that one PTE covers a virtual, uh, virtual memory area of 64 cache lines. And so there was a 64 times higher likelihood uh, that the page table entry would see reuse as opposed to the actual data cache line itself. And to achieve this, we implemented a very simple solution where we biased the replacement policy to favor keeping page table entries as opposed to data entries. And so for a given application, um, in this case, uh, GOPS, we found that um, the L3 occupancy of the data was about like 59% and page tables was 41%. However, uh, the data was not seeing much reuse. And so we decided to prioritize keeping page table entries. And this resulted in 84% of the cache being used as page tables. And this resulted in the data accesses of the L3 cache uh, suffering a very small increase in miss ratio, uh, 0 0.4 percentage points. However, it helped the page table walker reduce the last level cache misses by 3.7x, uh, contributing significantly to performance. So now let's take a look at the evaluation methodology. Uh, to evaluate our uh, proposal, we uh, used the Gen 5 simulator and the system called emulation mode. We ran uh, benchmarks from various uh, benchmark suites. And on the right, you can see uh, the configure core configuration that we used uh, for our simulation. Our core was uh, modeled after the Intel Skylake microarchitecture. So let's take a look at the performance results. Um, I will summarize the results really quickly because there are some more interesting things to take a look at. And um, first off, flattening itself pr provided 2.3% performance benefits. Uh, prioritization uh, pr provided 6.8%. And the combination of both provided 9.2% benefits. And um, our work uh, outperformed prior work uh, while using smaller chunks of contiguous memory. Now let's take a deeper look into the results. The first graph here uh, shows the average number of memory accesses per page table walk. And the baseline, which is a conventional page table, required 1.5 memory accesses, but that was reduced with flattening down to 1.0 uh, memory accesses. The graph below shows 
the average latency per page table walk. And of course, lower the better. We can see that flattening the dark blue bar uh, doesn't really help um, with, in terms of the average latency per page table walk. We found that uh, prioritization uh, was able to significantly reduce the latency per page table walk, and the combination was able to uh, reduce it even further, achieving 29.1 cycles on average. Now, let's take a quick look at energy implications. Uh, ASAP uh, issues prefetches for the leaf nodes of the page table while it's accessing the root nodes, and that just adds more uh, cache accesses. Elastic Cuckoo page table uh, issues multiple concurrent memory accesses, and this increases both cache and memory accesses. Now, flattening reduces the number of accesses per walk because it actually reduces uh, the number of memory accesses per page table walk due to flattening. However, uh, we see that um, the number of memory accesses uh, to the DRAM uh, does not change, which means that uh, the benefit we're getting from flattening, uh, those memory accesses were already being serviced in the mem excuse me, in the cache hierarchy, uh, resulting uh, to little performance benefit from before. Now, prioritization um, actually tries to keep cache lines in the, excuse me, the page table entries in the cache, uh, which results in less memory accesses for the page table walks. And this results in uh, reduce memory accesses as total. And the combination of both flattening and prioritization helps reduce both memory and cache accesses. There are more uh, in the paper, which we couldn't cover due to time limitations. Uh, please do take a look at uh, supporting recursive page tables, uh, which Windows does, and uh, the case study that we have. Now, to conclude the talk, uh, page tables walks need to be quick uh, for performance. And prior work required large contiguous physical memory, but they didn't provide a fallback path. In this work, uh, we proposed flattening and prioritizing, where we achieve single access cache hitting page walks. And our approach is both simple and practical as it reuses existing operating system large pages, and um, it provides graceful fallback when the operating system runs out of uh, large pages. Furthermore, uh, we find uh, performance gains and energy reductions uh, using both our flattening and prioritizing. With that, I would like to thank you for your attention. Thank you for listening.